Welcome everybody back to the channel. So in today's video we hop inside the dark ether and we use the most OP schematics in the game and we kind of discuss why they are so OP. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel as well if you guys haven't already and most importantly let's get a word from our sponsor and enjoy. CU4GM they are a awesome Call of Duty service company. They basically hop in game and unlock the things that you cannot unlock or basically you don't have the time to unlock yet you still want it. They are very trusted and safe, so I do recommend it. Link in description. Code SPAZO for 5% off. Hey, buddy. What's up? <laughs> All right, let's run these contracts. So I believe that the Ether Blade, the Dog Bone, as well as the Golden Armor Plates that we already have equipped are the most OP schematics instead of MWZ right now. And we're going to make a run to get some more. Uh, and to continuously farm these things. I try and do this every single game by getting a sigil. And then whenever I'm ready to get out of uh, Urzekistan, I believe it's pronounced. I, I just pop in the Dark Ether before I extract real quick. Because it, it takes 5-10 minutes to do both contracts. And that ain't really nothing, man, when you spend 40 minutes in uh, Urzekistan. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to see a video on how I basically got the Reagan plans. As well as the Legendary Ether tool. And how I can... Pretty much get a legendary ether tool and other awesome items every single game I play. Because I do have a strat for that. I kind of already made a video about it in the past. But, I mean, if you guys want a new one, a new updated and improved one, just let me know in the comment section. I I'll do that. Uh, it don't matter to me. Take this guy out. But, yeah. So, we're going to try and see if we can get any more of these acquisitions. Uh, let's throw this. Run along this wall. Pop another one. Pop a decoy. Run this way. This Mimic, man, he just does not want to leave me alone today. Here we go. Throw that. And we're going to throw it again once we get it. What do I have exactly? We do have this dog bone. I should equip it because I don't know where the heck my other dog is. He might help me. The best thing about the dog bone is they'll, uh, they'll revive you when you go down. So it definitely helps a ton. Let me throw a decoy. Let's get this extractor going. So we can get this one done. This is the most annoying one for sure. It probably is the one with the most zombie spawns in it and stuff like that. All right. But yeah, the dog bone gives you the tier three dog, which is so much health. It's pretty much crazy. And we should have zombies spawning up here. There we go. But yeah, once you learn the Dark Ether, man, it gets pretty simple. Especially, like, I do this every game. So you think I play for five, six hours a day, which that's my job, so that's what I do. Um, but, yeah, I, I do this every game. So you can you can definitely do this quite a bit throughout the day. Sometimes you can even just spawn in with sigils and just do it right away. Let's go ahead and throw that. Let's wait to get another one. And the Golden Armor Plates, obviously, they replenish all your plates after you lose them. Um, so that, that just makes you like invincible in time, you know, I mean, obviously you can still die by getting hit right away. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Let's do the outlast contract, which is way back here. Now, obviously you, you get all these, the three items from the dark ether. Um, so yeah, you, you do got to come here to get these items unless somebody does drop them for you. People do drop schematics all the time. Um, same with acquisitions. So, I mean, if you can get lucky enough to have somebody drop them for you, hey, you don't really got to come here. That's if you get the schematic. Um, but I recommend just filling your stash with a bunch of, like, ether blades and, and uh, golden armor plates and stuff like that. Because it, it honestly just makes the game so easy. They are the best schematics and acquisitions to get in the game. Now, yeah, you can say the triple pack and the uh, legendary ether tool are the best, but... I think every game, these are what's going to 100% be good and not just be terrible. The dog actually acts as a decoy sometimes, too. Like, the zombies will rather attack him for some reason than you. Um, but you got to watch out because he will die pretty quick. Let's go ahead and throw that. All right. Let's go ahead and throw this. Now, some games you might only come in here and get a dog bone. Some games you might just come in here and get an ether blade. Some games you might come in here and you might get golden armor plates, ether blade case, and three dog bones. You never know. You really never know. But I, I recommend just doing the two contracts, especially if you're going for the acquisitions. Just do two and then dip. You don't want to spend too much time in here. Uh, you you want to make sure you're conserving. 
keeping your items and playing smart. You don't want to be too dumb and just lose everything. Trust me, it happens. It surely happens. All right. Uh, throw that. There we go. We're almost done with this contract. There we go. Then golden armor plates, they replenish. So they're going to recome. As I see, one right there. Then we just got hit, so now they're going to come back. There, there's points. All right. Open this up. There we go. Golden armor plates, elder sigil. That's how you got to get the schematics. All right. And that's literally my, like, little farm. That's how I do it. That's how I get the OP schematics. And that's how you can become OP in MWZ in less than 20 minutes. Um, you just come in here and do those. <laughs> But once you do kind of get it going and you get one, it, it's pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's the most OP schematics instead of MWZ. Let me know what you guys think is the best to use in game right now. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, boys. Have a good one. And I'm out. Peace.